Okay, we're standing on the corner of Hollywood and Highland in Hollywood, and this is a Harold Camping follower here. He's predicting the end of the world in 113 days. So, I'm going to ask him a question. His name is Chris. He goes out every week spending 15, 20 hours a week doing this. He's even cut back on his work just so he could come out and proclaim the end of the world in 113 days. Scripture says no man knows the hour of the day, but this guy does. Harold Camping and Company. The whole Bible says about it. Oh, your philosophy is... Chris, let me ask you on camera here something. Just... Now, in 113 days, the world is going to end. Yes, guaranteed, 100%. The Bible guarantees it. The 100%. Bible, the Bible is the authority, 100%, not me. The Bible is the authority. And, and all what you read leads you to believe this indeed is absolutely yes, going to happen. I, I just told you the, 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 the frame that Israel became a nation in 48, and then they get 40 years of testing that they said they will not be lovers of Christ. And then, they, and then in, in Revelations 1, there's silence in heaven for a half an hour, 88 on May 21st, 2088, uh, until 94, September 7th of 94, there was silence in heaven. Nobody was being saved, and Satan was installed in the churches. He was uh, wounded from when Jesus died on the cross, and then he was uh, uh, healed to go into the churches and chase out the tears, or uh, chase out the wheat out of the, uh, to separate the wheat from the tares. And 94 to May 21st, 2011, is the great harvest where more people are being saved than any time in the history of the world outside the congregations. And then, and then May 21st, 2011, is the exact same day, 7,000 years from the door was shut from Noah. When he says, yet, seven days, Genesis 7, 4, yet I will destroy all that I have made. And then you go to 2 Peter 3, 8, beloved, do not be ignorant of one thing, that one day is a thousand, and a thousand is one day. And then you go to uh, Genesis 41, 32, that the dream of Pharaoh was double, and it means that the thing has been established by God, and it's shortly going to come to pass. And that means when he doubles something, and then you go to 2 Peter 3, 8, he doubles it, he has set his law, absolutely it was going to happen. And then 4990 was the year of the flood that they found out, Family Radio, 40 years ago. And 40 years for anybody to go through the Bible and find another date. And this is, it's just like God says, it's, and seven means perfect completion in God's eyes. He uses it throughout the whole Bible. 40 is testing. Three is uh, purpose. Two is the believers. The two witnesses on the street that are killed or people like me going out there on the streets witnessing and they're being killed. Their testimony is being killed because they uh, the true believers. And then you got five is the uh, atonement. You got uh, 23 is uh, destruction. So, it okay, Chris, you've given me enough information now that we have on video. So, I think people can kind of uh, see where you're coming from and what you're it, it trying to make. It takes time. It took, me about, it took me about two months of studying. The point you're trying to make. I have a simple uh, request. Are you willing to enter into a verbal contract with no, me? No, no, sorry. For, no verbal contract. For 114 days no. from now, you bequeath your car and no. house and everything you want to I don't have a house. No. Anything, your backpack. No, sorry. Nothing. What are you going to do for me? What are you going to do for me if you, when God shows up? This is real. I know this. You, you won't need anything. No. People do that all the time. I'm not going to entertain you. says that? I'm not going to entertain you. If you're so Satan, sure, that's from Satan. That's not from Satan. No. If you guys it's trust just, the Bible, you'll know that he's coming. It's, no contract. This tells me how sure you this are. This is not for it. you then. This is for people that they want to open their hearts to the Bible. The only a true believer will believe this anyway. And God will blind you until he comes in the deep in the night. For your God is a thief. My God in 1 Thessalonians 5 says that hour will not surprise you, brother, because you are of the light. And those who say peace and safety, sudden destruction, will be on them like a birth pains on a woman and will not escape. And God has to open their eyes, not me. But if, if you, Chris, hey, so I love you, not. brother. We will see you. I love me. You love Jesus in that word. The world will end in 113 days. Christ in our